good. Oh, I was drilling this and afraid I'd get any too much friction have these starting up on me. Look like this. Uh-oh, we're in trouble now. Uh-oh, we're in trouble now. We're open some presents. Does anybody have any presents? Yeah, he's <laughs> Derek, too, and so does Sean. Sean's got one under the tree somewhere. Uh-oh, it's ready to go off. Sounds like it's broken, but where are you going? Okay. 
drinking this off. <laughs> you left me. Uh -oh. you just, you just oh, no. Oh, you're kidding. Everybody be careful. Daddy, I'm making a big truck. Don't break it, okay? <laughs> okay, worried that my hair curls are coming out. Yeah. My hair's getting straighter and straighter. <laughs> my curls are falling. It's still about seven. You're a lady, boo, you're a lady. This is honestly not, this is swear to you. It's not just not. And he goes, yeah, I'm gorgeous, lady. I said, I couldn't look at myself. I looked up on the fall. He took my, I swear this is the truth. He took my poles, put them underneath, underneath his arm with his poles. He, all the way down the road. Turn that off, Sean. <laughs> Turn that off. All the way down the road. Lake Edward. He's holding my hands going. Hi. Well, thanks, thanks to Chernobyl, we have a white Christmas this year. It's snowing pretty hard out here. Well, there's a lot of big flakes out there, but the biggest flake is here on our TV screen. It's her wall, though. There's the big flake. Boy, 
but they're finally fixing the pipe that's been broken for three weeks. What a response time, huh? Race. Does snow make you cold? Huh? Don't get down. Hey, Bridgie. It's cold out here. He looked around and then he starts shaking. What is it? Huh? What is it, Pug? What is it? Look. Look. <laughs> this is, I want to keep my face covered. <laughs> You got snowflakes around your eyes. It's starting to melt on him now. <laughs> Come here, quick. Get your camera. Check it out. It's bad. More out here. Look. Check it out. Look at it out there. That's even worse than before. Oh, yeah. Better. Yeah, I mean, Brett, you want to open the window again? I'll yes, take Megan. Now you're talking about okay. snow, man. Steven, open the window. Be careful when you do it, okay? Because it gets stuck on the left side. Just go up real smooth. No, that's it. It's stuck. Wrong with this oh, put it down. Gonna... No, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. It's okay. See, it's just right in here for some reason there. There you go. Mm -hmm. Love it. Oh, yes. Here comes my cut. He's real greased on the window beam. I mean, now that's a snowstorm. <laughs> I love it. For any day. <laughs>
late night snow cam in 3D. on this year, 1988, a chronicle of people and events to be remembered as seen through the eyes of producer Frank Schambecker and editor George Liebert. Go out there and win one for the giver. Eight years ago, George Bush and I said to the American people, Read my lips. No he truly believes that Jay Danforth Quayle is qualified to be one heartbeat away from the presidency. I may not be on the ticket, but I'm fucked. That's what I know. When it comes to the future of the United States, Michael Dukakis will be the real Terminator. What this administration has done on defense is says, ready, fire, aim. Oh, dead. We had him, got it. That was a dead on. An Iranian passenger airliner was shot down by U.S. naval forces over the Persian Gulf this morning. All 290 passengers and crew of the minimize the tragedy. We all know that it was a tragedy. Of course it's an accident waiting to happen. We must know that we will protect our ships. If they threaten us, they'll pay a price. I now call upon the Islamic Republic of Iran and the Republic of Iraq to observe a ceasefire. The Afghan people themselves have a chance to determine their own future free of Soviet forces. The PLO were not partners, they are not partners now, and they'll never be uh, partners for any We will strike at terrorist targets wherever they are. We totally renounce all forms of terrorism. We mean the right of all parties to exist, including the state of Palestine, Israel, and other neighbors. Good morning, Discovery! The Dick, Mike, Judy, Jalan and Al, and the Christian Drake. Dear friends, we have resumed the journey that we promised to continue for you. I just don't know how he does it or whether he gets a hypnotist or something, but he does something. Money, money, money! The total retail value of all illicit drugs sold in the United States of America is somewhere around $100 billion. If you're a casual drug user, you're an accomplice to murder. Drug pushes have invaded the United States. 
Noriega is today and has been for some years the godfather. There's no basis for any sleaze factor. Uh, can't figure out how anybody can can figure that I'm a criminal. When I came here, I was a human being. Now I'm just a number. Gotcha. I have sinned against you, my lord. I thought that was some kind of stunt they had pulled. And then I realized what they had done. When I looked over the sea, I saw nothing but sky. <laughs> I heard this horrible sound, and the whole sky just lit up. Punish firmly, decisively, those who did this. It is beyond anything in one's experience. I mean, just before Christmas, there must be some sick people about in this world. What we're dealing with in Yellowstone is a place which has been already radically altered by ourselves. But we can't simply leave it to nature uh, to take care of it. We're very proud of all of you and what you're doing up there. A great many people are praying for all of you. We want clean, healthy water for ourselves and our children. And we're not going to take anything less. It's a lie! It's a sham! It won't work! People are dying. This is an emergency. It's a war. Let's treat it like a war. The number of new AIDS cases during this year will likely equal the total number of cases which had occurred from the mid-1970s through 1987. In this proud land, we grew up strong. We were wanting... We're not all drunks or junkies or just most of us are just normal people that had some bad times. Sad, really sad. After 70 years of building, they are wiped out in four seconds. Children, women, all of them are under this building, so help us, please. Do you recognize President Reagan? Radi Sia Nia Naya Tara Pilsa. We find ourselves standing like this. Extraordinary things have happened for President of the United States and a future President of the United States and a President of the Soviet Union standing together in New York Harbor under the protective gaze of the Statue of Liberty. We have walked a long way together to clear a path for peace. And that's the year's news in capsule. And for tonight, Tom Brokaw will be back next week. I'm Connie Chung in New York. I'll see you again on Sunday night. Thank you for joining us and for all.